Every time I come here, I buy some stuff. This is my little pile of stuff. I'm gonna go home and film a haul that I was not planning on filming because I was coming here to work and I just left with all this. Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. If you guys saw that mini intro, you know that I just shopped. You know your girl just shopped. For those of you who are new here, my name is Melissa. For those of you who are seasoned veterans, hi, how you doing? Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already. I just came back with a giant retouch bag and we're gonna do an unboxing. This video was unplanned, unexpected, and needed in a way that I did not even know humanly possible. Let's let's get onto this fun bandwagon because you guys know me, if it's if it's fun and it's loud and it's sparkly, your girl's gonna be into it. Which is why, actually, let me start off the video with something I really wanted to show you guys. If you follow me on Instagram, you've definitely seen this. Yesterday, I put up a reel. I have to show you guys. So you guys know how I've been Paco Rabanne obsessed for the past like year and a half. And I've been looking for one of these skirts forever. I found one. So I ordered quite a few dupe versions of this skirt, but they all kind of fell apart. This is the one that I found that has had the best comparison to Paco Rabanne. Paco Rabanne, I have quite a few of their bags. So in comparison, this is not metal discs, they're plastic, but that weight is there. The chain feels really good. So if you guys are on the market, I'm going to include the reel here. I forget the company that I bought them from, but I'll link it below. I'm giving you guys a heads up. Um, I paid for this skirt. The brand doesn't even know I'm doing this. Um, I paid 88 US for it. The duties were $52 though, which is a little savage of the Canadian government. So all in all, I would say this skirt probably cost me about $200, but it's a save considering the Paco Rabanne is what, 4,000? Okay, so now that I talk skirt, let's talk retouch. So you guys have been asking me, I get probably five DMs a day, asking me what, where my promo code went for retouch and they disappeared. Retouch no longer does partnership programs giving out promo codes to people like me. So they ended those, I think about a year ago. They kept mine going because we work on other projects together. They kept it going for about, until about two months ago, but you guys have been asking a lot about my code back. So they've given me a three day exception. So the code MELPIX is going to be valid for the next three days, but it's three days only. So once you guys see this video, it's probably already gonna be two days deep in the code, so just heads up. Also, what I wanted to say, most of you on here that watch me on Instagram and on YouTube are American. So whenever I quote prices or I mention things on Retaish, keep in mind the pricing is in Canadian dollars. Your dollar is worth a lot more than ours. So off the jump, you're saving like 25, 30%, plus my additional code giving an additional 10% off. So it is very much worth shopping the Canadian dollar right now. All right, so with that being said, let me jump into what it is I picked up. Eee! The first thing I picked up, I was being basic, but I really needed a new toiletry pouch and they had two, so I picked up one. It's in mint condition. The other one that they had was also in mint condition, if you guys are interested. It's the toiletry pouch. I believe this is the 26. Don't quote me on it. My like, my, my sizing kind of sucks with Louis Vuitton, but it's the exact same one that's in store, so I'll just link it below so you guys can see what the sizing was because I think 26, but I feel like it might not be. But yeah, I love this size. This is the one that a lot of women use as a clutch and I can totally see why you would use this as a clutch because it's really cute. I did buy it as a toiletry pouch and I'm just really excited because I feel like it's impossible to get. Ooh, -hoo -hoo. so this piece was actually sourced by Alex for me. So if you guys follow me on Instagram, you guys know Alex and I love Alex. Alex is the vintage bag guru that I love to work with. And um, I asked him if he had ever seen this Missoni bag on the market. I'm very much into Missoni right now. Like I'm very, the knits, the like early 2000s, Missoni, Missoni, Missoni. And he was able to source this bag for me and it's in like mint condition. It's just like a classic knit, which is very Missoni. It says Missoni on here and it opens up and it's just a really nice soft oversized clutch. It has 
a strap, which I'm definitely not going to use. I like this as an oversized clutch. I just find like with an oversized blazer, a tiny little dress, kind of like literally how I'm wearing it now, combat boots, like it's such an aesthetic. It's such a cute look. And if you're buying Missoni right now, they're practically giving away the older bags. So like, hi, I'm into this. She cute. Okay, next off, we're gonna go with a pair of Saint Laurent shoes. Um, this is the box right here. I feel like I need to do my Instagram unboxing before I ruin the packaging because it is literally, whoop, it's like perfectly packaged. Yeah, let me stop this. I'm gonna go film my Instagram unboxing and I'll be right back. Okay, Instagram done. By the way, if you don't follow me on Instagram, follow me on Instagram. <laughs> So the second I saw these, I saw these originally when they originally came out. These were like $1,100. And when I saw them originally, I was like, there's no way I'm going to spend that kind of money on a glittery naked sandal, which naked sandals, by the way, this shape is literally my favorite shape in the entire universe. They've never been worn. I paid $400 for them minus my promo code. So I paid 360 Canadian for these in my size, mint condition, never worn. I'm speechless. They're incredible. They are incredible. I was on a bit of a Saint Laurent trip today. So if you guys follow me on stories, I feel like you already know what this bag is, but I... I half like passed out when I saw this bag. So it's in the dust bag and the box. And that's what I love about Retaish is like literally like you feel like you're getting it brand new. Look at this bag. Look at this bag. It's velvet. It's like a jeweled detail. This bag is everything. And I got it 10% off. They currently have in store right now, kind of like the black gem version, I guess the like more discreet version of this bag with the tassel in store. I'll link it down below. Just so you guys can see, the strap is really long on this bag, which with my whole aesthetic that I have going on with the like late 90s, even like 1996, I don't mind the on the shoulder super long strap. I feel like this is definitely a look. Although I want to show you guys like how I am going to carry it just to shorten it a bit because I am quite short. So I'm just going to do this and I just shortened it and just so you guys can see, look at this, look at this beauty. I just love this. This is so chic. This is so everything. This is such a statement. This is like the perfect, like I'm wearing all black. And then the last little item I picked up, also YSL. Is this not the cutest little key fob you've ever seen in your life? Is this not adorable? It doubles up as a wallet. It has room for cards here. Stuff can hold behind. This flaps open. Is this not the cutest little baby you've ever seen in your life? I went, I don't know what's up. I went really hard on Saint Laurent. All right guys, so that's it. That was my little impulsive shopping spree at Retaish this morning. I went to work. I came back with stuff to haul. It's okay. It's all in the name of fashion. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I don't have anything else to say besides I love you so, so much and I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys.